Hi, Kayla. It's Don Yates with Vandy Mania. We have Kayla Overbeck, the superstar for the Team USA. Just came back from that team. Kayla, how's your summer been going so far? Uh, really good. I mean, being able to play with Vandy and with my team, like uh, being the incoming freshman and then going to play for the USA 19. 19 team. I think it's like a dream come true. Sure, just being able to play for USA. I think that's always everyone's goal to be able to like strap on the USA, your number, your name on the back. That's like really the name on the front that means the most. And hopefully, I get many more opportunities like that in the future. How long were you actually practicing and playing with that team? From July 7th to July 31st. 30th. Yeah, 30th. July 7th to July 30th. Okay. And you were in Colorado Springs, and then where did you go after that? We went, we took a flight to Newark, New Jersey, and then we flew to Venice, Italy, and then took a two-hour bus to Udine, Italy, <laughs> on the eastern side near, what country is that? I think it's Slovakia. Wow. Yeah. So you were in Italy, and and Krista Reed was in France, and yeah. <laughs> some other player, players were like, in Jamaica or something, or um, yeah, Maria Fah, she was in Greece, I think. Oh, okay. For some, I don't know where she played, but she went to Greece and like practiced with the Greek squad. Squad. Hmm. I don't know where they had their U20. Now, how did you find out you were going to be on this team USA? I mean, how'd that come about? Um, well, they sent a letter to Coach White, and Coach White called me up into her office, and it was like a letter saying like we invite you to like the USA tryouts for the U19 team, and it was in May, May. 18th through the 22nd, I think. Yeah. And we kind of thrilled to hear that news? Or? Yeah, because that was like the first time, or was the first time I played for, tried out for USA and played for it. So it's, it's like, I don't know, a dream come true, like I said before. So what kind of things did you learn with that? Did you get any coach learning thing as far as coaching from different coaches that might have helped you in your game? The main thing that I learned was leadership and being able to lead in your actions, but also in um, like ways that most people don't really look upon as in like uh, how hard you work and how much you talk communication and being dominant on both sides of the floor and like being uh, your team's biggest cheerleader because that, like, at the end of the day like we're all in it together and it doesn't matter who's on the court who's playing the best because we're all in it for the gold medal like obviously we fell short and got the silver medal but like we were all in it in every single day practice like we try to make each other better we push each other as hard as we could we went as hard as we could because we knew that everyone's out against the united states it's always been like that so why not practice like that because practice should be harder than the games and i think for the most part it was so <laughs> so uh who won the championship what country russia russia y'all yeah. lost to the russians <laughs> 1972, that was big news. I was a kid. I watched that U.S. lost to the Russians. I was about seven seven years old. I remember that. My father was very upset. and So you're not the first one. Don't worry about it. You know. But they didn't even get their medals. Did you know that? They didn't accept their medals. It was a very controversial call at the end of the game. You can look oh, it up yeah, on I knew, YouTube. I knew, I know exactly. I and the now. game was seemingly over. And then they, the ref said, oh, no, no, no. They, they get one last chance. And they... They threw it down the length of the court and got a basket. I think they got two. Didn't they get two chances? It happened twice where, like, they got it yeah. and they missed it and then they gave them another chance and they got it down the court. Something, Something very like controversial. Yeah. But what was the score of the championship game? 86-82. Well, it was at least a fairly close game, yeah. you know. Um, so where, where are you off to now? Uh, we go to Costa Rica in, on August 12th to play against Costa Rica teams. So all this traveling you've been doing, is this kind of wearing you down? You say, well, I wish I had a break from all this traveling, or you just uh, said, hey, bring it on, I want more. Yeah, you know, you can't really listen to yourself when you're talking negative like that. Uh -huh. you got to talk to yourself, because I think that if I, any chance I get to lace up my shoes and wear whatever jersey, that, uh, whether it's USA or Bambo or anything like that, I'm ready for anything, ready to accept the challenge. You know, um, you can't really get tired of the sport that you fell in love with. Absolutely. Well, Kayla, hey, well, good luck in Costa Rica. Hope you have a good time, and thanks for joining us on Vandy Mania. Thank you.